and take provisions, but indeed the best provision is taqwa, piety, righteousness. Quran 2, 197. Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Today let's delve together into the intricacies and significance of an Islamic morning routine. These 10 points are not mere steps. They are powerful methods to initiate our day in harmony with our spiritual values. Number one, Fajr prayer, morning prayer. The Fajr prayer is the sunrise of our spiritual journey. It's not just a ritual, but an act of devotion and a quest for divine protection. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, he who performs the Fajr prayer is under the protection of Allah. In these early morning hours, when the world still sleeps, we find a tranquil space for our souls to connect with the divine. Number two, Dikar, remembrance of Allah. After prayer, we immerse ourselves in the world of Dikar, the conscious remembrance of Allah. It's not about mere repetition of words, but actively focusing on Allah. Dikr creates a space of inner peace, detaching us from worldly concerns and directing our attention to the one who created us. Number three, suhoor, pre-dawn meal. Suhoor is not just a meal before fasting, it's an act of self-love and gratitude. By consciously eating, we show respect for our bodies and gratitude for the sustenance Allah provides. Suhoor becomes a spiritual act when we see it as an opportunity to prepare for the day gifted to us by Allah. Number four, dua, supplication. After suhoor, we open our hearts in dua, in personal supplications. These moments are more than just words. They are deep communication with Allah. We speak about our dreams, fears, and hopes. Dua is the language of the soul speaking to Allah, and this sincere communication deepens our connection to Him. Number five, reading the Holy Quran. Reading the Quran should not be reduced to a duty. It's an invitation to a profound spiritual encounter. We deliberately sit down, not just to recite the words, but to understand their deeper meaning. The Quran is not just a book. It's a living source of wisdom and guidance that touches our hearts and guides us on the right path. Number six, physical cleansing. Morning physical cleansing is not just an external action, it's a spiritual ritual. Ritual bathing, gusul, or ablution, wudu, is more than cleansing. It symbolizes the purification of our souls from sins. This process reminds us that we are not just physical but also spiritual beings striving for purity. Number seven, exercise and movement. Caring for physical health is valued in Islam. Integrating exercise or a refreshing activity into our morning routine is not just good for our bodies, but also for our souls. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, encouraged physical activity and through movement, we not only invigorate our bodies, but also our spirituality. Number eight, practicing gratitude. Gratitude is more than a virtue. It's a way of life in Islam. After physical cleansing and activity, we consciously take time to thank Allah for the blessings in our lives. Gratitude is a bridge between the visible and the invisible, a way to recognize the abundance in our lives and open our hearts. Number nine, planning the day. Planning the day is not just an organizational measure, it's a spiritual act. By setting clear goals for the day, we give structure and purpose to our actions. The Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said, the strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer. Planning strengthens our resolve to lead a life pleasing to Allah. Number 10, concluding supplications. Before embarking on the day, we conclude our morning routine with final supplications. These moments of silence are more than just concluding rituals. They are a connection with Allah, where we seek protection, guidance, and blessings for the day ahead. These concluding supplications express our dependence on Allah and our hope in His mercy. Keep in mind, the Islamic morning routine is not a rigid sequence of actions. It's an art of living consciously and spiritually. These 10 points are more than mere advice. They are signposts to a fulfilled life in harmony with the teachings of Islam. May Allah help us not only understand these practices, but also incorporate them into our daily lives. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.